Why hello, it is Kat Ray here. I'm coming to do, we are doing some wood shutters for the front of our house. Our house was built in about 1957 and we're just gonna make some new wood shutters for them, kind of pretty up a little bit, modernize it. I really like the homemade ones, kind of the little bit of the barn house look to them, but we'll have to do that and let's see how it goes. So these are the windows that we're gonna be doing the shutters on. These two right here, and then this big one over here. I already measured them. These are 31 and a half inches by 69 and a half inches. Here are all the supplies I'm going to be using. We got the cedar wood over there, just one little piece, but we're gonna be using more. We've got our drill, we got our sander. There's some stain, some sealer, some screws, measuring tape, hammer of course, and the blowtorch. Then we got these little decorative pins. Those are the supplies. Okay, so now we got the saw, got the cedar wood. I've already got it measured to the size we want to do. Now we just gotta cut it. Ready? Okay, so I cut it to the size I needed. Now I'm just gonna, cause the edges are a little rough. This is a little roughed up. Now I'm just gonna take the Dewalt sander and we'll sand off and smooth the edges. So it really, really doesn't take a lot of time to sand it. You just gotta smooth off the edges, get it nice and smooth so there's not all the little friendly pieces. Now we'll show you how to do the blow torching. All right, so First you're just going to get a blowtorch like this from Home Depot or Lowe's or something and then you're going to go with the grains of your wood and where it's like where the grains are it's not going to burn and where it's softer it's going to burn. This is the finished ones that I already did. This is how they should look after burning them. There you go. So now we got the wood that he has burned. Now I got some wood stain with my little foam brush. Now we're just gonna stain it. Okay, so now that we have Stained the wood, we have our shorter pieces. We got three of the longer pieces. We got these wood pieces that are gonna, we got these at Home Depot. They're just kind of the paint mixers. Those go here to separate them so they're not right up against each other. And we're taking this little piece, we're gonna put it four inches from this side, right there. We take the wood glue, So we got that one on, we're just gonna do the other one now. Okay, we're all done with that. Now we just gotta wait for the wood glue to dry. Then we'll flip them over and screw them in. Next step is we got these decorative cross pieces glued on, but that's not gonna hold them strong. So we got some screws and we're gonna screw them in. So the combination of these two, two pieces of wood is about two inches. So we got these screws that are just a little under two inches. We're gonna put one in each one of these long pieces. So we'll go one, two, three, four, five, six. We got all four of the shutters to do here. So now we'll do the shutters. Okay, 
Okay, so the next step to this is to put these decorative shutter studs in. So the tools you need is this drill, has the tip that's a little smaller than this. We got the mallet, the rubber mallet, and we're gonna take the drill, drill some small holes, and then put these in the holes. So we are basically done with these shutters. They look very beautiful. My favorite part is these little decorative studs here. They look, make it look wonderful. You'll be able to see those really well. So now we just gotta go put them in. It is, we made these shutters last year and it was like one of our projects we were working on and then we finished them, didn't put them up. We had other things come up and they kind of got put on the back burner. So today all we have to do is put up the shutters and we'll be done with this project. Okay, so the first step to doing this is we have to put some holes in the shutters. We thought of a lot of different ways to do this, but we've realized the best way to do it is just drill some screws in these where we can paint them over the top. But if we have two screws in it, it'll really stabilize the shutter real strong. So we're gonna put one right here and then one down here. Okay, there's our first one. Okay, so now we're going to hold the shutters up, mark where those holes are gonna go, and drill into the brick so those screws can go in pretty simply, but we're gonna leave that job up to Josh. <laughs> We are all done with our project. This is so awesome. I love these shutters so much. I've wanted these up here for over a year now, but just look at them. They really, really just add a lot to the front of this house. And I think it gives it two thumbs up to this. We are done with the project. So remember, work hard, play hard. We'll see you on the next project.